All right, to begin, I added some footage to my timeline that I'd like to change the speed of. The first way to change speed is by right-clicking the clip you'd like to change the speed of and selecting speed slash duration. For the speed, enter a number larger than 100. To speed up your video, for example, entering 300% will increase my video to three times its original speed, or you can enter a number less than 100 to slow it down. Entering 50% will play back your clip at half speed. You can also click and drag the blue speed value to change the speed in a less precise way. Keep in mind that changing the speed will affect your clip's duration. So if you have any trailing clips, be sure to check Ripple Edit to prevent unwanted gaps. Okay, and now my video is playing back faster. The next way to change a clip speed is by clicking and holding on the third tool down and selecting the Rate Stretch tool. Using the Rate Stretch tool, just strike the end of any clip to change its speed. Unfortunately, as of the 2020 version, there's no way to shift your trailing clips when speeding things up, so you'll have to manually reconnect them. Likewise, it won't allow you to slow down the front clip when they're next to each other due to the lack of the ripple feature, unless you make space for slowing down your clip first. All right, and for the last way to change the speed, Let's drag the top of the track we're using to expand it until we can see this line going through it. Then right-click your clip and go to show clip keyframes time remapping speed. Now simply drag the line in the middle of your clip up or down to increase or decrease the speed. Like they're stretching tools, you can't ripple edit using this method, but it will be useful in the next tutorial when we learn how to speed ramp. Okay, and that's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching and see you next time.